Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy King James here. Now it's season six, and we got two new guns that came with this season. We got the Grav Assault Rifle and the 410 Ironhide, and I'm going to be bringing you a loadout for both. But this video is going to be on the Grav first, then I'll do the Ironhide, and then I'm going to sort of wrap up my shotgun series with a like shootout on shotguns. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But let's talk about the Grav first. So we have another assault rifle. Like we need another assault rifle. We got so many already. So you know, I wanted to try it and. See See if it's any good and doesn't have a place sort of in the meta and you know what is it really going to be good for so i got that for you right now So I dropped into Plunder, which is one of my favorite places to go and test brand new guns, because it gives you lots of opportunity to get a whole bunch of kills in a short period of time, and you know, you have to worry about gas and stuff like that. And one thing I found about the Grav is that it hits pretty hard. It's got a decent rate of fire, and it's got quite a bit of power, and it works okay up close, you know, and at range, which I'm going to show you a little bit here, you know, here's the, you know, sort of at range when a guy is moving. Now, it took quite a bit of ammo to get him down, but I did manage to track him and get it down. And I'm trying a little bit at range on the top of this building here and you know it works okay although I notice there is some recoil you know and again a little bit further away here you know this guy's running around and moving managed to get the limb there and you know another guy I think was just drop it in here so I gave him another try and you know it's, it works pretty good at range and this is just using a you know a sort of standard meta AR build and you know again up close it's nice and strong even hip firing I managed to hip fire it right here and it worked okay so you know I definitely like the gun I think it's gonna have a place in the meta um, it's probably going to be a bit more like the AK where you know you'll have to get used to using because I think it's a bit of a higher skill gun with the recoil on it and it might make a good sniper support gun so I'm going to try that later in another video but for now you know as a you know regular uh, you know AR type gun it's pretty good I think that um, you know if you like low recoil guns you're probably going to want to use the Farah or the Krig instead but they don't have the firepower this thing has this thing definitely hits really hard and works pretty good that way and I was able to track guys no problem with it you know this guy here was sniping and I'm, I'm working and of course I get shot in my back right when I get the down but you know that's how it goes anyway let me show you a little bit on the recoil because that's sort of one thing that makes this gun something you got to pay attention to so it's a decent gun but there are one or two problems and recoil is the first one and this is what I'm talking about when I first started using it check this out shot it right here and went right over the guy's head I was like oh wow so this thing has a little bit of recoil and and I noticed it and a couple of times this kind of thing happened right here where it was sort of all over the place before I got used to it and look at this guy here I didn't even manage to even get the kill because of the uh, recoil that it has so you know and same thing right here so it definitely has some recoil that you got to get used to and here's what I'm talking about watch this shot up the wall right here it was way over the top of the building now the AK does that too but I think the AK is a bit easier to control than this now in a controlled shot you can see once you get used to just doing it's just a, a moderate pull down your thumb you can get a pretty clean shot and at 50 meters so I went and ran off and did the same thing you can see it moves around but I mean if a guy was standing there you definitely would get your shots on him um, when I run up and have a look at it you can see here that the the big version from 50 meters is just sort of bigger than the you know the, the close one at 15 meters and that the recoil is pretty well just vertical it doesn't have a whole lot of horizontal you know back and forth when you're shooting it but with that said you know here are some moving shots while I was you know flying in and I managed to get that guy down there and you saw this one earlier right this guy's flying in and despite the recoil was able to get that shot off and here's how the Grav stands up against some of the other very popular guns. And as you can see, it's in orange. It's right in the mix of all of the other guns. So the AK, the XM4, and the C58, all very popular ones. And it's a little faster time to kill than the XM4 and the C58, but as it should be, because it hits pretty hard, and it's got a pretty, uh, you know, strong recoil. Now, the AK-47 also has strong recoil, but as you can see, it's got a bit of a faster time to kill. It's probably going to reign supreme as the meta AR. However, I think the Grav definitely has a place and there's a couple other things about it and the grav actually has the highest rate of fire of any of the other guns so that does make it more forgiving the higher the rate of fire the easier it is if you miss a bullet or two and the AK which I'm comparing it to yeah it's got lots of recoil but it's got much higher RPM versus the AK has and what it's also got is the best bullet velocity of any of the Cold War guns it's over 1200 which none of the other Cold War guns are in that range the closest are sort of 
these ones, but it's still 50 shy or 60 or 70 shy of, of those ones. So you definitely have the highest bolt velocity and that's what allows you to shoot and not have to lead your shots ahead of the guy quite so far. And that's the time that the bullet, when you shoot it, goes and hits the enemy. So you definitely are gonna have the easiest time shooting at distance with this one, despite the recoil, as long as you can manage the recoil. Now where the grab falls a little short is in the neck multiplier. All the other guns have some type of multiplier on the neck that the grab doesn't have. The XM4 is, has like full headshot damage, but it, it only has the same as chest, stomach, and extremities. So it certainly is a little lacking in that area. And this is where I think maybe some changes as the season goes will probably change some of this stuff up. So I've got both the Grav and the 410 Ironhide leveled up to max, and I'm gonna bring you an Ironhide video pretty soon, like I was saying, and wrap up all my shotguns. But we're here for the Grav, so let me bring that to you. But just before I do that, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel and is here watching my videos. I really appreciate all the love and support. Really and truly, guys, thank you. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing. We're almost at 10K on the channel, which is a huge milestone. So if you can, hit the sub button and hit the notification bell so you know when I got new videos coming out. All right, let's see the Grav build. So the build I'm using on the Grav is pretty well a standard meta AR build. So that's gonna be the agency suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. And that's one thing that this gun has in spades is bullet velocity. It's I think at the highest bullet velocity of all of the AR. So that's one thing that's going for it. So with that, I'm running the task force as well. So for more bullet velocity to get right up over 1200, which is pretty high, horizontal and vertical recoil control, which this gun really needs, and more effective damage range. Now for an optic, pick your favorite optic. I like the Axie Alarms with the um, green dot reticle. Now for the underbarrel, there's only one choice. You gotta run the field agent grip for the vertical and horizontal recoil control. So you remember earlier I said there was one or two problems. Well, here's the second problem, and that's the magazine. The biggest mag is the 50 round, and it's the first one on the list. There is no 60. Instead of a 60, we get this RK7 30 round conversion, which gives you more range and um, damage, but you only get 30 bullets in the chamber, which I don't know if I can run. I'll have to try it out. But for now, I'm just using the 50 round until I figure out if there's anything else here that works better, or maybe if something here is going to be really beneficial for a sniper support build. So for now, run the 50 rounds. It'll give you even faster ADS because you're not running a 60, but you're sort of shy 10 bullets, which really does impact the damage per mag, which is a thing in quads. So you're gonna have to make sure that you're reloading often so that you're not caught without enough ammo. So in terms of a general AR, I actually think it's pretty good. I do enjoy using it, but like many new guns that show up in the midst of a season, um, they tend to get changed quite a bit. Now this gun has, um, you know, the smaller rag and quite a bit of a recoil. So, you know, I suspect that it's likely gonna see some changes. I don't know what they're gonna be, but almost always when they bring a new gun in, there's always some kind of change. So I would probably tell you to level this one up because I suspect this might change the meta because it's got those weird mag options. And I have a feeling like, you know, somebody's gonna figure out something that's going to change the meta with this gun and it's going to make it really good for some purpose a sniper support or you know something else so i'd probably tell you to get in and level this gun up and if you don't know how to fast level guns i made a video on how to do it i'll link it at the top right here just you know getting kills in the lobby making a lobby loadout just to you know level a gun up because you can do that in the lobby if you don't know so you know i'd probably recommend putting this one on and getting it leveled up because i suspect something's going to happen and this gun will somehow impact the meta so stay tuned for that uh, so make sure you're sub to the channel. I got a bunch of new videos coming out. I will be covering the um, 410 Iron Hive, which you see me using right here. It damn, works pretty damn well up close. I suspect it'll likely be pretty good in uh, Rebirth. Yeah, and if you like the slow shooting pump shotguns, which I kind of do, I, they find them really satisfying to, you know, get those one shot to the head, you know, to, to use them. So, you know, make sure that you're uh, tuned for that because, uh, you know, I'm going to be bringing that probably later this week. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, yeah, if you don't see me in Warzone, if you don't see me multiplayer it's only a matter of time baby king james out